Welcome to the AACS Daily News. The Attleboro Arts Museum has launched their annual High Art Exhibition, which features work from area high school students. This year's theme is Reflections. We spoke with program's coordinator, Abby Rivaldi, to learn more. I'm so pleased to present High Art 2022. The theme this year is Reflections. We have 15 Massachusetts high schools that have installation art on display, all responding to that theme of Reflections. Uh, so viewers are in for a treat. Um, they will be seeing all kinds of interpretations of that theme, whether it be self-reflection, uh, a moon reflecting on water, um, or reflecting on the last two years in the pandemic and how that's impacted these students. Uh, so I think it'll be really exciting and no one has responded in exactly the same way, which I really uh, enjoy to see the diversity coming from one uh, particular theme. High Art supports the next generation of artists. These students are um, getting to experience a full circle uh, gallery display. So they're not only creating the work, but they're coming, installing the artwork in the gallery, and then celebrating and showing that work off to the public and their peers. Uh, yesterday, we had about five schools installing at one time, um, and just having that energy back in the gallery and uh, them being able to not only experience um, installing work in a gallery, but um, interacting with their peers and giving commentary on um, each other's work. It was really special to see, and I'm just so excited to have it back to its almost original format. Um, we're slowly getting back to um, the, the main goals of the High Art Exhibition. My name is Lauren. I'm from Seekonk High School, and today we're presenting our two pieces for um, the Reflections 2022. So we have two figures that reflect one another and we used um, opposite color schemes. So if you look here, this one's warm and then cool at the top and this one's cool and then warm at the top. And then obviously they're different metals and everything. And we were kind of thinking of a reflection between like life and death, which is why you see like a, a angel in one and a skeleton in the other. Being able to present at a gallery, is, it's really cool. I'm not going to art school, so it's probably the only chance I'm ever going to get to do something like this. So it's a really great opportunity. And I think for my friends who are going to art school, it's a great way to start like practicing and sort of easing into like presenting art. And because no one's critiquing this, so it's a little more friendly. And I think it's a good way to start putting yourself out there. My name is Carly Blaze. I'm an art teacher at Dover Sherborne High School. And my role in instructing my students for this high art installation was really just being a facilitator, letting their ideas take the forefront and guiding them with my knowledge of installation art to get their vision to come to life. So our students interpreted the theme of reflections by thinking about self-reflection and on another level, the idea that when you're being looked at or judged by your peers, you can have a skewed self-perception. For the students, it's really different working on such a large collaborative project. So a lot of the elements were made individually in small or in small groups. And by the time we had to do a little mock-up installation in our school, it became another whole endeavor to figure out how we're gonna hang something from the ceiling, if our sculpture is gonna be standing up on its own. Um, so a lot of troubleshooting, and the students worked really well trying to figure out how to make their piece come together. High Art will be on display uh, starting May 17th, running through June 2nd. The museum is open Tuesday through Saturday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Um, we will be on summer hours after Memorial Day. We are closed on Saturday, May 28th uh, for that holiday weekend. For more information on High Art or um, details on visiting, uh, please visit our website at attleboroartsmuseum.org.